Welcome back to another list video. Yeah, another siege video. Another <laughs> siege. Get out of here, cat. Uh, we forgot oh to God, draw we last use. week because we always fucking forget. Yeah. So we drew off. Uh, off camera. Off camera. Okay, right. And we're going to do set. best movie villains. Like, oh, best Boy, villains man. in cinema. Yeah. We've decided to leave out Disney. Yeah. Only. Uh, uh, yeah, I think the live action films. Yeah, right? yeah, we can do that. Live action yeah, yeah, films. Yeah. 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 I mean, no anime. Be CG characters. Like Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. CG. Yeah, but live action films. <laughs> but yeah, live action films. Yeah. And none of the Disney live action adaptations have been good enough to deserve it, so. Yeah. I, I like the original Scar way more than Lion King remake Scar. Yeah. I do. So, and after some debate, I think we're leaving comic books in. Comic book live action portrayals. Yeah, because I don't think it'll overtake yeah. the list like Disney did for music. No, I think there's just too many stronger like. There's too many good ones. Live action, you know, yeah. Because like, really starting with, I I got put Loki and Joker on the list. Both, both of those from. Which me. one do you want right now? You can write both. I'll okay. just I'll write uh Voldemort. Voldemort needs to be on the list a hundred percent. Loki. Uh, Darth Vader. Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. Get all the obvious ones out of the way. Sauron and Saruman. Or should we only do one? Sauron. Well, to me, to me, neither Sauron's of them... Sauron's the villain. Sauron is okay, the but to me, neither of them are nearly as strong as Gollum. If we're talking Lord of the Rings. We Gollum both, has way both. more character and way more impact. Like, because Sauron is really cool But, but Gollum isn't straight up the villain. I know, but he is a villain. Yeah. But see, in the movies, because if you th don't think about it, but in the movies, we almost never see Sauron. He's almost never involved. Yeah. And Sauron, Sauron, Sauron is cool... But he also kind of gets ran off like a bitch. Whereas Gollum has a constant impact on the story and really good portrayal. Yeah. So to me, we can put them all on the list and like yeah, decide, but to me, good. Gollum's just way stronger if we're talking more of the Rings villains. Gollum. I'll put Gollum and Saruman because I don't want to put Sauron in there because I love Sauron. He's like imposing, but. Just to me, like, yeah. Sauron, Balrog has more of an actual film like yeah. impact than Sauron does. Yeah. Zaron, definitely in the context of, like, all the books and everything. Yeah. But, uh, Anton, uh... No control. Yeah, we pretty much all no agree on that. Oh, y'all... Because we were talking about talk off-camera. Yeah, one of my yeah. favorite fucking movies, dude. Fucking yeah. yeah. He definitely needs to be on that. Um, I don't know if he'll make it, but, uh, Hannibal, he's one of my... I like Hannibal. Oh, from, like, uh... Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, from, uh... Come on. What can I think of the name of the movie? Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, one of them. Uh... Joker. We already put him. Yeah, put him. Oh yeah, that's the second one. Are we gonna include? Is this just Heath Ledger's Joker? What about Joaquin I mean, Phoenix? I, think I mean, we gotta talk about all their film performances. And then also well, Jack Nicholson was great. Like yeah, but I, I think you know. I mean, Heath Ledger's <laughs> the best Joker. I'll give a fuck with any of y'all. Yeah, definitely. Joaquin was good. Jack Nicholson's like, good. We'll just count Daniel this. As, we'll just count I'm this TV. as Heath Ledger's. Yeah, yeah. I do love He's Joaquin Phoenix's, but. Also, it was Joaquin's movie. Yeah. Heath was the villain in Batman's movie. Yeah. So. Uh, now, do we decide on excluding slashes? I mean, they're still villains, but... I know, but... No maybe. slashes making the top ten. I don't think I me either. That. I do love slasher films, but I don't I mean, know if about, for movie villains... I mean, yeah, but like... I guess, twist-wise, like Norman Bates. Oh, yeah, good. Norman Bates is a good one. I mean, we can put them on list and discuss I mean, out of all of them, I think based solely on character, that one might be yeah. one of the better ones. Uh, I mean, I guess Freddy is kind of like one of the vengeance yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. He has a reason for I mean, we can Jason put them. I'm not probably going to vote for any of them. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, one second. Come on, come back. Um, to the track. Hans Gruber. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll put Hans. Hans group. Do you have some milk? Sorry. What? Uh, one of my favorites, Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. I do like Barbosa. I mean, I know he progresses to be a good character, but he is still a villain, and I think that only adds into his like nomination that he has such character progression. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, goodness, uh, I feel like we gotta put Thanos on that list. Yeah, he just did such a good job. Yeah. Thanos. Alright, um, 
I know I see Agent Smith on a lot of stuff, but I don't like Agent Smith that much. I do love Matrix, though. I like Matrix, but I don't like Agent Smith that much. Yeah. He's all right. I don't know if he's a top ten villain for me. Uh, one that I think is interesting that I see on some list is Tyler Durden from Fight Club. Oh, yeah. Brad Pitt's performance as him is fucking good. Tyler Durden. Um... What? <laughs> I was gonna make a bad joke. <laughs> um, uh, AIDS from Dallas Buyers Club. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of people put Commodus from Gladiator, but honestly, he's just a bitch in that film. He ain't a cool villain. Ain't nobody scared of Commodus. But he is great, though. He's okay. The thumb down. Yeah, whatever. He's a bitch. I'm gonna put Commodus. I'm voting him off first. What's uh? He's gonna be my how do you first. Spell that? I ain't telling you. He's gonna be my first nomination to vote off. I ain't oh my that, gosh. Though. Uh, Kylo. That's definitely not right. I'm just gonna erase it. <laughs> Kylo Ren. I don't yeah. know if he's top ten I, for me. He's definitely not top ten for me, but I do like. I I he was my favorite part of the sequels. I will say that. People have Frank Costello from Departed. Yeah, I was, I was actually about to say that. Yeah. But let me just make sure. We're feeling because me and Hunter kind of well, talking about off screen. Uh, honestly, Cody. I'd rather put Matt Damon, you know, Colin, as the bigger villain. I don't think he's the bigger villain. I think I'd rather. Put I think he's more of a protagonist, almost. Nah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he's. He, a, he, he kills, yeah. he, you know, the, the protagonist. Yeah. And then he gets killed by fucking Mark Wahlberg. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put him down. I, I think, think he's nowhere near a top ten villain, though. Nah, probably not. But... Um, We're debating off-screen Calvin Candy, but... From? Django. Django. Oh, duh. I couldn't think of his name. I, I'll put it up, no, I do no, like no. Cal- I do like Django's villain. Um, I was thinking... Uh, Oh, Gideon? Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Is that his name? I don't know. I've only seen it once. The villain from Scott Pilgrim? I don't think he's a top 10 villain. I'll yeah, let him, I man. Know. I won't put him, though. Uh, let's, let's, put, let's put the Wicked Witch of the West. I won't let him do that. Yeah, that's a classic. Mm, sure. I'm just going to put WWW. Um, so I love Darn Eyes of Spain, but I don't think he makes top 10 for me. I so. know. Because there's some good villains that I just don't want to nominate because I don't think they're top ten. Yeah. Even if they are good. Like, As I if we wrote two, Bane down. I love Two-Face and Bane, but they're not making top ten. Yeah, if me. we wrote them down, I'd have to write down Ra's al because I like him more than both of them. The Green Gobbler. <laughs> the Green Gobbler? <laughs> yeah, Gobbler. Yeah. I don't Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin? I mean, I love him. I don't know if he's top ten. kind of goofy, though. Yeah. yeah. I don't he's know. So I could take it too I don't know if any of the Spider-Man villains are top ten for me. Yeah, even Jake Gyllenhaal is Mysterio. I just... As good yeah. as they are, I don't know if they make top ten. I mean, to me, there's only so many comic villains that actually make it there. Yeah. There's... What about Magneto? Yeah. Ian McKellen's Magneto? Yeah. yeah. Well, even Michael Fassbender does a good job. Yeah, he does a really good job. Ian McKellen's Magneto, man. It's yeah. so classic. Where did he put Voldemort? Yeah. Okay, if we're gonna put Voldemort, um, should we put um? Shit, I can't think of his name. Probably not if you can't even remember his name. I know. Well, I just have a bad time with names. Uh. Oh, well, oh fuck! I do. Fuck it. Is he I from Harry Potter? Yeah. Who? Ratface. <laughs> No, Wormtail is nowhere Wormt- near a Yeah, but Wormtail villain. causes a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, but he man. is not a, okay. anywhere near. He's just a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. I couldn't think of his name for some reason. I know some people will probably be saying Terminator, but he's not a top ten villain. Yeah. Uh, dude, that's fucking I think he's Terminator. better as a hero than Yeah. while he's a villain. He is a terrifying villain, though. Yeah. Hmm. Xenomorph from Alien. Yeah, I like Lex. I mean, you put him on there, but I'm probably not. Xenomorphs are intelligent. They just don't talk. 
Yeah, I, I, I probably gonna vote for the Xenomorph. You put on there. I mean, it's on my list. If we're gonna, if we're gonna pick oh, between no, that fine. or Predator, I'm gonna pick Predator. Well, especially no. because we talk because, about like, well, Alien is a way better film than Predator. Alien's an actual good film. To me, as cool as the Xenomorph is, I can't when we're doing top ten villains vote for it over someone we get to see a performance from. Yeah. As cool as Xenomorph might be, I'm not voting it over someone I get to see do an actual performance. Yeah. Because that's something we're taking in too, gonna be taking in too, is like the actual performance by the actors. Yeah. As well. Um, I feel pretty okay where we're at. Like I'm looking through and like I said, there's other good villains and probably some that people might feel we left out, but I just don't feel like I'm gonna be voting for any of them top ten. Yeah. Uh, so hold on. Um, Scarface. Is yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Right? Scarface is a villain. Yeah. yeah. But he's oh. also the protagonist. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also not t- top ten for me. Oh, you're fucking crazy! Compared to the ones on this list, Scarface is one of the greatest movies of all time. Well, especially okay, yes, but I'm also I want to be able to vote for a villain that we get to see face a protagonist. Because I think that factors in is their dynamic and what they do as a villain, like facing off against people too. Yeah, he's really like he is a villain, but he is hardcore framed as the like protagonist. Yeah, but I'm so I'm gonna put him down for now. I mean, you put him down. I'm gonna put him down for now. To me, he nowhere near it. He wasn't even on any of the other list I looked at. Because people probably don't consider him as a villain. And I I am not count I don't count him as a villain when we're talking about like these others. Yeah. Godzilla was a villain at one point. Godzilla's yeah. a villain. Yeah. But also we that's but the I same thing as like a performance. I think we leave out movie monsters. Yeah. I think general. movie monsters could be another another list. I, I don't think their performances will because it is a lack of performance. Uh, I may have just seen the worst list of my entire life. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell no. I feel like there's some I'm forgetting. There's definitely a lot I'm forgetting. Well, like I said, I'm not forgetting a bunch of others. I just don't think I, they're top ten. I think I am. But I can't place it. Oh, you know what's a good one that we probably don't think about? The uh, director from... Uh, fuck. What's the name? You know, the... Drumline? He's not a no, 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 villain. No. Whiplash. He's not a villain. villain. Oh, Whiplash. He's, he's not a villain. villain. I don't think that counts as like he's a an villain. asshole. He's, but an, he's not a villain. He's an antagonist. He's not a villain. Antagonist and villain. Yeah, antagonist and villain are different things. Yeah. Well, there's another thing I'd argue with Scarface. I'd argue he's an antagonist instead of a yeah instead of a villain. even though technically he's a protagonist. It, yeah, but you can be both. Like yeah. Light Yagami is an antagonist. Yeah. From Death Note. Um. Alright, yeah. I think that's... How many we got? What are we looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 20. We gotta get rid of 10. Who... Who lost last week in the... Who didn't get the save? I didn't get the save. No, you... You had... I ha- you had one. You didn't compete. It was me between me yeah, and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Josh lost. I lost. Yeah. Special Special elimination. yeah. So... So when we get to the I second lost, round of the I lost two things. I remember because we did too many games in that, and I lost both of them. Yeah. All right, and then you lost two trivia's in a row. But first, Shut up. technically, we ain't there. What's the who? Anybody seem obvious that as good as they might not be, or as good as they might be, needs to go. Kylo. Calvin. I'm definitely fine with Calvin really? right now. Yeah. I think we circle back to Calvin. I don't know if he's going to make top 10, but I think we no, circle he's back. he's so good. Kylo, I think we can all agree. Yeah. I think we circle back on Calvin here after we look at a couple others. I don't want to prematurely knock someone off too early. Uh, I think Frank Castello can go. Really? And I think Norman Bates. You go to Frank Costello or no? Yeah, you can, you can take him off. Because I got Colin on over here. I think Colin can go too, but... What? Why? In top ten movie villains? Yeah, he it's probably won't make, make it. It's not a bad performance. He probably won't make it, but we can wait on it. It's not we'll a bad performance, but Calvin we'll Candy's a better villain. We'll sit on it. No, no. Wait, hold on. Were you saying Colin? 
Or what, did you say Calvin? No, he Calvin. said Colin. Oh. Colin. I was going to say, Calvin Candy's a better villain if we're going to go that kind of route. I thought he said Calvin. No, he's talking about Colin for the Departed. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> I thought you wanted to get rid of Calvin Candy. No, I said circle back on Calvin. Calvin probably ain't making top ten, but I wanted to circle back. Um, um, what else did we say? Who's on the list of Norman Bates? Are you good with Norman Bates? Buffalo Bill. Let me put him down. Oh, yeah, Buffalo Bill. He's a fantastic villain. But he's not top ten. We still got some room. Go ahead. Y'all just added on someone who's not gonna make the top ten. Yeah. Be realistic. We can remove them later. Be realistic. So are we getting rid of Norman Bates? We're gonna have to get rid of uh, one of these. Are we getting rid of Norman Bates? Uh, not right now. Uh, we can get rid of uh. uh damn, uh, Barbosa. Yeah, I think Barbosa can go. Oh. Okay, first off, before Buffalo Bill, <laughs> damn sure got to go before him and Norman Bates. Buffalo Bill's a way y'all. greater performance than Barbosa, though. It is. I can see if both of them go ahead and go. Who? Both. Barbosa yeah. and Buffalo Bill? You just hate and the Norman Bates. I can see. I can see with all three Fuck of them. Even. They're gone. Are you who, uh, Norman? Yeah. We'll come back to Norman. No, no I'm conceding uh, with all of them. How many we got Ooh. before we fucking do this? We ain't even done our two, save. Three, four, seven. five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? Oh, nine, nine and seven. seven. Okay. So sixteen. Let's do our first saves. Um, we got rid of quite a few people there. Are each of us doing a save? Yeah. Okay. Each of us get one save. Okay. I'm gonna say Hans. I do Take like seeing Hans. Hans make it. Me so. too. Like, I want to save someone, but I also, like... Oh, we have a repeat. We do? On Anton, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, damn, I don't know who I want to save. I'm saving Gollum. Really? I'm worried y'all going to get rid of him. Yeah. And I think Gollum is a top ten movie villain. Okay. That, no, that's fine with me. I'm saving I love Gollum. Lord of the Rings. Damn, I don't know who I want to save. Cause, it's like, tough. There's a lot of good ones on here. Well, like, I already know. Because there are some ones I want to save, but I already feel like they're making the list. Yeah. Well, that's why I didn't go for, like, the Joker. If Joker doesn't make this list, I'm quitting this podcast. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. <laughs> Calvin Candy. You're really going to keep better people going for Calvin, as cool as he is. I think he's a better villain than... Let's see. From Thanos, Loker, jo- Loki, Joker, I think he's a be- I think he's Voldemort, a- Darth Vader. I think he's a better villain than Loki. I like Tom Hiddleston, but okay, I don't think he's- I'm saving Loki. Fuck this. I'd much rather see Don go. I ain't letting y'all get Loki off this list. I'm what? saving Loki. I'm Top 10 off. movie villains of all yes. time. Tom yes. Hiddleston's Loki. Yes. No way! Now that I see that you have that stupid opinion, I'm saving Loki. <laughs> it's not a stupid opinion! I'd much rather Dom go. Loki oh, is one of the best villains. One of the best character progressions in all of the MCU. Right there with Thor. If Loki, Amazing yes, but he's not a villain the entire time. That doesn't matter to me. He's that just only a villain adds, in Avengers. But that only adds to it for me because we. Yeah, get but to this see is about Loki. their villainy. Yes, They're, this is the best villains, and if they start off villain and progress, that only adds to their character for me because they were if able Loki, to progress. If Loki beyond makes it, that point. if Loki makes it, then Joker and Thanos have to be in the top ten because he's not better than either of them. I well, no, I but he's better than other people on this list. So, uh, yeah, I'm saying Loki. Yeah, Fuck that. I'm sorry, Gollum. I wanted to make sure you were safe, but Loki's one of the best movie villains for me. The witch is going to have to go. Um, well, I don't know who else I'd want to save than, than Calvin Candy, because I, I already think Darth Vader's making it. I already think fucking Anton's making it. I already think Joker's making it. Like, yeah, you got to think about space. We got three, only seven more can, or we got two, seven, oh, no. nine more go. Whoa, somebody gonna go out of these two. So. Saruman. That happens, Saruman man. is not there. I don't want Gollum to go. I actually, I, Tyler Durden. Saruman is the, damn, I didn't even watch Little Rings like that. Tyler Durden. Explain Saruman. Saruman, Saruman is Durden. the, is the white wizard in Lord of the Rings, who is basically Sauron's fucking puppet. And he, like, does everything, like, for Sauron in the movies, basically. 
He raises like, the fucking orc army and shit. Yeah, he might be a better villain. Well, I can say Tyler Perry probably go. I haven't even done my save. Yeah, dude, so I'm saying, so if save. you want to narrow it down and see what you're save, looking at. Uh, two top ten picks, are you? We should draft. I mean, I can't stop your pick. You can save Calvin. <laughs> draft. Why don't y'all think Calvin Candy is top ten? I don't know. Because it's just for me. It's just about the numbers that I see it here at the end. I don't think he's. I'm worried someone. He is such a good villain. Leo's no, well, performance. No, no, I completely him. agree. But I'm worried that we're gonna save him, and then like someone like a Voldemort or someone like that is gonna end up not making it, just because we don't have space. Candyland. Well, really, the but big, also the big villain me. in this movie. Is slavery. <laughs> and, and he's a slaver! Ever. Yes, but I'm thinking of like how it, how it, how it, um. To me, I don't even think we put the best fuck. fucking uh, Tarantino villain so, on this. I thing. don't either. Calvin, the fucking Kill Calvin, Bill's villain was so, great no, too. Was the best villain is Warm from Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, well, that's that's real Hans, quick, isn't real it? Quick, yeah. No, that's Hans. Real real quick. Quick. Oh! What the- Wait, which one did you save? Hans. Oh, I thought you were saving Hans Gruber, because that's what I put on the list earlier, and why is he not on this list, then? Wait, what? What are you talking about? That's from Inglorious Bastards, right? Yeah. No, Hans Gruber is the villain of Die Hard. Well, I didn't put him... This there. is the villain from... I know. I put Hans well, that's why I said that, that. I nominated Hans Gruber oh. earlier, and he's not on this list. My bad. Then. We must not have wrote it down. I, I was going to pick one Hans. Uh, no, Die Hard's I, I, villain. Real quick about Calvin. He didn't, like, make that something happen. Like, he wasn't the reason for it. You know, the bad shit to pop off. I'm thinking of reasons why bad shit was popping off. I mean, Sam Jackson almost had more to do with shit fucking up. Yeah. Uh, well, he, he fucking, he did. He did. He, he caused it. everything he to fuck it to up. Him. He caused everything to fuck up. So, really, he's a trigger. Yeah, his name is Hans, too. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, I was so, making sure. So, what was his last name, Hans? I already got it. Hans Gruber. Hans from, uh, uh he got a long name. Just leave him as just, Hans. Just leave it as Hans. Alright, Hans. Landa. L-A-N-D-A. Um, what a fucking lame-ass last name. Let a motherfucker named Landa come up on me like that. Okay, hold on. We, I got mixed up. So where the fuck we at? <laughs> so you still got me to say Rosie and Hans, Hans are saved, apparently. And we got nine spots left to fill. Out of how many options we got left? One, two, so four, four over there, four over and then two, four, six, eight. Yeah, because we added one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only nine of them can go currently, and you get to save another one. All right. Um. And since I lost last week, I'll get the E win. <laughs> Or no, me and Hunter will be competing for the other save versus yeah. Elon. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, save Darth Vader just because I know, just because I want him on the list. Bro, Darth what? Vader's going. Bro. I know he is. Do a different save. Oh my god. Do a different save. I only his bad save because it just keeps the space. I'm gonna save Magneto. Okay, All right. that's fine with me. All right. So. Because I love Ian McKellen's Magneto. I'll write down the saves. Oh, you got the saves? Yeah. So should I just erase it over here? Yeah. Okay. Who did you say? Loki? Yeah. Yeah. I think Tyler Durden can go. I like him, but I don't think he'd make him top ten. Yeah, so good. It is really good, but I don't... I fucking love fighting Buck. I don't know, compared to the rest of these, if he make him top ten. That's fine. That's true. You good? Yeah, I'll go with that. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. So okay, three more three. gotta go. Oh my. And I've got what? what you do got I have? another save, and then save? me and Hunter will be competing for, for the those? save slash eat a limb. Yeah. So I think we do that. I, well, I think we get rid of the other two, and then have the eat limb come down to the last one, and do our saves. Uh, I'm fine with that. So. uh... So you gotta get rid of two more. And then we'll do the next oh, round of save slash you win. Oh man. I think Starface is the next weakest. Me too, because I just don't want to count him as a villain. 
if we were doing top ten main characters, Scarface <laughs> on that list. That's a lot Maybe. of shit. That's a lot of main characters. Hey, you got Gertrude's wanna play rough? Dude, Come on, guys. Really <laughs> oh. To me, it's between To me it's between Hannibal and Candy. Yo, Candy can go. I'm not getting rid of Hannibal. <laughs> that means that the last e Luke will be left up to be the side. Oh, no. Or the loser of me and Hunter, I mean. But, yeah, I think Candy is the weakest. I love you, Leo. I'm sorry. You'd make every list You I almost had. saved him, and you just you agreed to eliminate him. Yeah, because I love Hannibal. I know. <laughs> but that's why I was saying It's one of the greatest villain performances of all why, time. That's why I was saying if you saved him, someone <laughs> like that was going to be left out. Yeah, you're right. I'm fucking okay, stupid. Josh, go ahead and do your save, and then me and Hunter will compete. Oh, man. Dog, don't even look over here. These are going. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save Hannibal. Okay. Yeah. Because I, cause I feel like you would have eliminated him. I'm the one who nominated him. No, I know, I know, but I'm saying because you almost eliminated him right well, there. Well, it's between two people. I know, and now the other one's gone. And Hannah was the only hey, one that was between us. Unless I spy for you, isn't it? What? Don't worry about it. Bro, <laughs> I will quit. I will, run. I will jump off the top so, of the building. So we have to eliminate one or save one. Right. So two. I saved Hannibal. So there's four. Okay, so, 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 so two, have to four, six, seven. Yeah, we have to eliminate one. So we got to... Josh, pick a number. Alright. Between what? 1 and 10. Sure. 1 and 10? 1 and 20. Alright, 1 and 20. Alright, I got it. 13. He was on the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. he gets a save and I get the evil one. Alright, I'm saving Anton. Right. Okay, well, I, I knew he was going on the list for a fact. That's why I never well, saved I, him. Well, I just want to make him eliminate one of these three. I'm not or, eliminated. He's probably gonna you. eliminate Hans Gruber. Oh yeah, I forgot we put him on. I was gonna save Hans Gruber because I love Die Hard. But all right, Anton. It's between Voldemort, Vader, Joker, Gollum, Hans Gruber, and Thanos. I'm eliminating Darth Vader. No, you're not. Whoa! No, you're stop not. the gap. No, don't. Stop <laughs> the gap. Please, please. <laughs> I will fucking. It's my Elam. I will get rid of fucking Sorry. whoever I saved. I'll get rid of Magneto before I fucking let Darth Vader go. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. Oh. <laughs> I'll switch my save. I'll put Hannibal back on this list and save Darth no, Vader. No, as much as I hate saying, Hans is the obvious one. Okay. Yeah. I feel like my Elam is worthless, but at least I'll get a. I'll get the second save next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Hans is obviously the weakest one. We gotta remember to do the drawing on camera this on week. On camera, kind of spiteful. Candy camera. All right. So what's our top ten? All right. No, we got order. Voldemort, Dolph, 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 Dolph Vader, Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> fucking uh, Darth Vader, uh, Hans, Londa, uh, Magneto, Anton, Loki, Hannibal, Joker, Joker Gollum, Gollum, and Thanos. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good yeah. list. So, uh, how yeah. many uh, comic book villains made it? Four. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it's because he saved Loki. Yeah. Loki deserves to be top ten. I don't think so, but it's fine. What the fuck is wrong with you? Tom Hiddleston's performance is amazing. Yes. And has not only just of the most villains in the MCU, probably with has the second most character Hiddleston. development period in the MCU. Yes, but I would argue I what, would what I'm saying is a lot of the of the villains on this on out of I would this, argue that he's a, a better of, character no, than Thanos. Listen, no. A lot of the know, villains. Definitely Magneto. A lot of the villains on this list are, and that's uh, maybe yeah. I just saved Magneto for my. I list. would argue that he's above both of them as far as actual no characters. No fucking way, dude. I would, because you got to look at their whole but, character no, in the series. Yes, yes, I agree. But what I'm saying on a performance base on this list, a lot of these fucking characters are regarded as some of the greatest performance. He definitely had a better performance than Josh Brolin's Thanos. 
Josh Brolin didn't really do anything except for sit there and look brooding. I like to think more of the crime. He was cool, but performance-wise, all he did was brood. Okay, but what I'm saying is, okay, aside from the comic book people on this list, except for Heath Ledger's Joker, a lot of these characters are regarded as cinematic, like, royalty. Well, fuck them. This ain't their list. This is ours. Yes, but I don't that's give a what shit I'm what saying. They think about it. That's what I'm saying. Tom Hiddleston's performance as Loki is not fucking one of the greatest performances in, in cinema. It's not. Ugh, debatable. But anyway, it's it, dude. Come on, debatable. that's bias talking. Debatable. Okay. That's some bass talk right there. Bass pro pro shots. Uh, let's get to the top ten. So who's going ten? Magneto. Mm. No. Mm. Let me read the list one more time. I agree with Magneto. I don't understand. It's between Magneto and Gollum for me. Well, for me, it's between Magneto and Hannibal. Really? I think Hannibal would be fire. But you think... You think that... Dude, I I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can agree with that. Hannibal is one of the most iconic movie villains ever. Even though it's not a film, though, I think part of what's holding me back is I think don't think Anthony Hopkins even has the best Hannibal Lecter performance. I do. It's because you haven't watched the TV show. Yeah, that's Maz true. Mickelson is on a whole nother level. I think had I not seen that, he would be higher. And I know... I just think it hurts that I've seen a better actor perform that character. As much as I love Anthony Hopkins' performance. I've seen the character done better. Well, I think for... And I also think he has the least impact on his... On, like, the universe that he lives in compared to all that's, of these. That is that true. That is true. To add in just, like, that's not enough of a factor alone, but if we're just, like, throwing in other reasons why potentially... Yeah. And a bullet to Yeah, that's fine. I'll agree. And a bullet to Which I think Magneto is a solid nine, then. Oh... I'll put Magneto on, I don't care. How much does Gollum affect? Everything. Gollum is behind almost yeah. everything that happens. Like, he's like this, he's the sneaky villain of Lord of the Rings. He's, yeah. people, that's like earlier when we were talking about it, like, I didn't think of it like that, but like, I have before, and like, yeah. he is the, he's the fucking. He just affects literally everything, even before, like, the Even before the, the events, yeah. And Andy Serkis, holy shit, does such a good job. All right. I always forget that he's Gollum. That's crazy. Was it his technology that made the CGI for that, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a talented motherfucker, dude. This is going to be hard. This is going to be one of the hardest lists for me. Oh, Hannibal's on there already? Yeah. yeah. Magneto. Magneto. Yep. This is really hard, dude. Oh, oh man. Wow. <laughs> this is really fucking This is the hardest list I've had. Just I stack. think seven, six, and eight. You just said that in the most awkward yeah, fucking word. I know. I don't know why I did that. I think six, seven, and eight, or at least okay. I think two of these numbers is Loki and Thanos. Also, my con is down here in the next ones. Hans? Uh, no, okay. no, because so. no, 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 because hold up, look at it with this. We can all agree, Voldemort, Darth Vader, and Joker are making top five, yeah. which leaves them to fill out those next spots. And I think if you look at it, I really don't want to put Anton below I any of them. Like, dude, he's just so Anton's in the well, no, Anton, Anton is higher. Anton's higher. That's yeah. why I think Hans. I think Hans is lower than Anton. So I do agree that I think Loki, but the thing, Thanos, okay, yeah. Anton are in this next stretch. The, from, uh, from, from, or Hans, I mean, not from Anton. A, from a film, from a film standpoint, Hans is top two. From acting and cinema, but you gotta like yeah. we said, you gotta think well, of the his, impact yeah. of the on the world that the villains has. So to me. To me, he's in this next part. I don't necessarily know where yet, but I know like those three are definitely above. I don't want to judge it too harsh on like the impact on the world. Cause, well, I'm just saying that's just another factor. 
Motherfucker just eliminated yeah. half the fucking yeah, population. That's true. I don't really want to. Yeah, do. but to me, then, on the other hand, his weakness is I think Josh Brolin is probably, like, the least impactful acting performance of everyone left on this list. So that put him somewhere around He didn't have... But the, the thing is, he, he didn't... He didn't have to. Well, he didn't have to because he, he still didn't, didn't do it. Yeah. Whereas, like, you look at, like, someone like uh, Heath Ledger or something like that, they completely changed it on their acting power. Yeah. And even, like, and, like, he doesn't come anywhere close acting-wise to, like, a Hans or an Anton or any of those. But I, I feel mean, like he's above Loki. To me, it's Thanos and then Loki. I don't think so, man. Cause I, just, I, I love Tom Hiddleston. On, on the character progression and the acting performance, like, Thanos has a better world impact. But to me, there are more things that go towards Loki than there does towards Thanos. Acting for it better, the character overall actual story is better. Well, uh, and I mean, appearances too. We gotta kind of base it off of that. Like Loki's in a lot more shit, also. He has more time to do. To me, if I have things. to, if I have to rank this, it's Thanos, Loki, Hans. These next three. I like that. I actually kind of agree with that. Okay. And then it just even gets harder. Thanos is just Thanos' car. That was really cool. Honestly, I don't know that Thanos should have made it this high, but he did. Yeah, it's one of the biggest uh, events in cinema yeah, history. But not. But I don't feel like he was anywhere near the best part of it. I do, dude. Infin- I would argue almost all the heroes for one. Infinity War is I, I, the I don't biggest really, I, crossover I don't really in, <laughs> in movies. That's not what I. That's not what yeah, I was going to say. I, I don't, I don't it's, it's his movie. That's Thanos' movie. It's not the hero's movie. That is Thanos' movie. I, mean, I, could, I could argue that's also Thor's movie. It's more Thor's movie than any of the other heroes. Yeah. But still. Now, it's also a whole lot of Iron Man's movie. Thanos wins. <laughs> Who would, would you put fucking Thanos? Thanos, Loki, Hans. And now it only gets even fucking harder. Dude, I don't know how to order this shit in the top five. Okay, so in no particular order, we got Voldemort, Darth Vader, Gollum, Joker. And Anton from No Country for Old Men. I don't know how to say his last name. I think Gollum next. What is. Yeah, me too. Wait, wait, wait. I think Gollum I think is Gollum's next. easily five. I think Gollum is these. 100% five. I love Gollum, but I think he's easily five. Yeah, me too. Goll. And I can tell you. Yeah, it's like Creed. I, I thought you spelled it wrong, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I don't care. As long as bitch, they won't see it. I can tell you that, uh,. The next two are not Voldemort, or not Darth Vader or Joker. Yeah. I think they're top two. Who? I think Darth Vader and Joker are top two. Me too. I don't necessarily know who comes up next. Joker think uh, two. I think Joker and Darth Vader are top two villains of all time. Uh, I think it's these next two spots are between impact? Anton and Voldemort. I think Anton and Voldemort are definitely the next two, but I don't know which one's which. I have my order. Some of these next two. Yeah? Joker at two? Yes. I'm not even saying he's two. I'm saying he's in the top two. Well, yeah, in the top two. I haven't two. decided yet. Heath Ledger's performance as Joker is groundbreaking. It's one of more? I would argue Heath Ledger's Joker performance Fake is movies? the best supporting actor performance of all time. The Dark Knight is regarded as one, not right. only the best comic book film, but one of the best films ever made, period. And it's pretty much entirely good. Oh, yeah. Because so I'll tell you, Christian Bell, Christian Bell, was Christian Bell does not carry that film. Heath he Ledger does. Strong. But before then, I think it's definitely Voldemort and Anton in these next two spots, but I don't know which one is which. Because to me, I'm it's the play. overall power of a villain versus the <laughs> acting power for Anton. To me, it's overall villain versus acting power, and I don't know which one wins. <laughs> I think Voldemort is a bigger overall villain. But Harry Potter is dead. <laughs> I think he's a bigger overall. Voldemort's my four. I think he's a bigger. Ah! Overall villain, but Anton's performance is so fucking. The Bro, I so can't good. do that. You can't. I can't. He's so good. It's between them. I'll put Voldemort at three. I don't care. I'll put Voldemort at three. I can agree with that. If Anton's okay. four. Yeah. Okay. Because. But those two are top two. Okay. See, Anton made it solely this high just because of how good of a character he is in acting for yeah. These other three are they're villains. They're villains. They, they are, are villains. They're the pinnacle. They are the pinnacle of villains. In my opinion, they are villainy. 
<laughs> Fucking bull. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I need to rewatch the Harry Potter uh-huh. movies, bro. Uh-huh. The yeah, argument so between these, on Netflix for the, the argument between these two around the world is <clears throat> so disputed. Joker and Darth Vader. And to me, number one is Joker. Well, Darth Vader is my number one. <clears throat> to me, Joker is number one. hundred percent, Darth Vader is my number Darth one. Darth Vader is one of the coolest villains ever made. I think they're both two of the coolest. Nah, they're both bro, two of the gotta, coolest villains ever made. But Heath Ledger's acting performance is a listen, billion times better than yes, anything. It's any better. Any acting performance it's for Darth better, Vader, written, but, written as a character. I think Darth Vader's better. I don't. Because for me, also, like, Joker's impact on Batman and going beyond just, like, the world impact. Darth Vader's impact on Batman. No, 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 no. Going beyond the world impact to just being able to have a villain challenge somebody entirely fucking morally and to, like, shake the foundation of the hero. And have, like, where they can have a scene that's one of the greatest scenes in film history where no action is happening. When it's just them talking. Bro, and, like, debating just their moral Darth philosophy. Vader. You just described, you Darth, just Vader described Darth Vader. But I think it, it his applies, is higher on that impact. I don't I'm not that. saying that Darth Vader doesn't do that, too. And but I think it, his is higher on that impact. If it's higher there, then... I mean, Darth and Vader it's definitely a better Vader. acting performance. I, by far. I'll agree with that. But, man... And I'm not even a fan of Star Wars. He doesn't like Star Wars. And like, to me, Darth Vader is solid, too. Uh, not for me. To me, there are not enough Brody, actors pushing over to, the Joker for the, me. Dude. I might have to blow this up. up I, and I know you have the argument of just because something happened first doesn't mean it happened better. But. And that's true. But. But that man did set that up. Darth Vader changed what a villain could be. I mean, but you could argue George Lucas stole all that shit from Dune and anime. I don't anime give a shit. And early anime, I so he didn't even do it I first. I don't care. He didn't even do it first. If you want to talk about the character alone, villains as they existed started with Joker way before Darth Vader, if we're going to talk about like the impact well, of characters. You know what yeah, but I'm not talking about that. not first but doesn't I'm not, mean it's better. <laughs> but, but I'm not talking about Joker in the comics. Yeah, but Darth Vader literally does not exist without that. If we wanted yeah, to go exactly. off of that, that's not. But that's not what I'm arguing. But that's. But that's the same argument. The same thing applies in both of those situations. You have this low budget film series. I mean, I can see that y'all are going to be wrong, but I'm not wrong though. But you are. Let me give my wrong. argument. I don't think I'm wrong, and I don't even like Star Wars like that. There's. I fucking love Heath Ledger's Joker, but Darth Vader, hey man, man. The people in the comments are going to agree or disagree. He, They'll let us know. I hope. You have this story of this fucking like, little farm boy who realizes there's a much bigger universe and world out there, and he's never met his father, and... He goes on this journey across the galaxy with this ragtag group of new friends. Okay, so journey to the west, which is what George Lucas entirely stole the plot from. Never mind, I'm not going to argue. You're not going to let me talk. I'm mean, I'm just saying. I'm putting Darth Vader at one. No, we, well, we can't do that because I don't want to, like, we just, can. I don't want to muscle. Know, I don't want to muscle my way It comes to a vote, but, I mean, I am so more strongly against this one than any one we've ever done. Really? Yeah, by far. I mean, I've accepted that I lost, but to me, there's no way. I think if Star Wars didn't have such a huge impact on me as a person, I would agree with you. So, it's my bias, and I don't want my bias to be the reason Darth Vader's number one. Well, it's not, because I'm here. You both pretty biased. And I'm the one who fucking forgot Heath Ledger's I mean, name. I'm fucking I love stupid. both, but I think Joker's better. We got a Teller list and a Josh list this week. <laughs> I mean, I've accepted that loss, but I I strongly disagree with this one, so I just want that to be... I think people... I've agree. never disagreed with one more. I think they'll agree I'm, with No, I, honestly, I think people will agree with Teller more than me, but... Really, you think? Yeah, I, yeah. I could not. Because I think Darth a lot of people love Darth Vader, but a lot of people also fucking love Heath Ledger's Joker. To me, there's just no comparison. I know Tyler won't agree with me. 
<laughs> and Tyler would be wrong. <laughs> well, anyway, we got our list. The list is done. This was, I think this was the hardest list yet. I feel morally drained. <laughs> Man, I should use my. I should have spitefully voted him off. I I so don't agree with this list, but whatever, it's done. It's well, done. at least he's. This is two. No, that's even worse to me. But he was gonna be in the top two no matter what. We can move him to three if you want. We'll just swap Voldemort with him. Voldemort is not top two. Hold on, let's end the video, right? We gotta read the list we gotta off. Read we gotta the talk. list, Teller. You, you can read the can list. Li Why are you upset? Read the list! Like read the list! Whoa, I can whoa! Read, I can read the wrong list. Alright, number 10, Hannibal. 9, Magneto. 8, Thanos. 7, Loki. 6, Hans. Londa. Uh, 5, Gollum. 4, Anton. Uh, 3, Voldemort. 2, Joker. 1, Darth Vader. That's the list. That's the episode. Teller just disappeared. Into the void of the storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be it. That'll be the episode. Oh, let's draw it up first. Oh, forget. shit. You want to draw, Teller? I'm draw no, I want to draw. I want to draw. I want to draw. Uh, follow me on my new channel. I'm resigning from Critics Arms. No. Come follow on. me on my new one. It's going to be better. It's going to be called come Critics at Arms. Uh, <laughs> just follow this one. It's going to be better. I'll make proper lists. This is literally the point of the series. <laughs> Give me a drum roll. Okay, you can stop. Best game console of all time, PS2. We, we ain't got to do a video on that. Stop. We really don't. I'm sorry. That was pretty top 10 list. It would be hard to do. There are 10 consoles. Yeah, but... I feel like there's no competition there's between the two, top the PS2. Two. All right. Uh, we we, we would do that video, but... PS2's real good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think I just the next episode. I mean, I'm gonna go. To PS2 is my number one. All right, we're we're just gonna draw again. PS2 is PS2's not one. my number one, but it's, it's fine. What is your number one? GameCube. PS2 is my so far. All right. PS2 is my second. Do y'all oh, see how I'm? Yo, 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 Do y'all see how invalid his picks are? They're not invalid. Listen, listen, you see how invalid. Favorite Disney villain. Oh. How about Whoa. that? How about that's that? a good one. Yeah, I'm intentionally using that. both my saves on bad picks next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Fuck off. Wonderful time.